In today's video, we're gonna be looking at strict mode in JavaScript. I'll give you some examples to show you what it does and also some ideas of how you can use it to improve your code. JavaScript's strict mode is a feature that allows developers to opt into a strict version of the language. When strict mode is enabled, certain JavaScript syntax and behaviors that are considered problematic or error prone are changed or disabled. This can prevent common coding mistakes and it can make your code a lot more robust. So a bit like how TypeScript makes JavaScript code less error prone by catching mistakes early and telling you about them, strict mode is a tool that you can use in plain JavaScript to do some similar things, but without having to implement a full compilation step like you do in TypeScript. Strip mode also enforces better coding practices like declaring variables before they're used. Um, it can also make your code more compatible with future versions of JavaScript. This video is split into sections where I'll show you an example of some of the things that strict mode prevents you from doing in JavaScript. You can jump to any one of these sections by using the progress bar on the YouTube video below or the chapters, whatever YouTube uses these days to show you how to jump to chapters. So let's get started. Enabling strict mode is simply a case of adding use strict at the top of your JavaScript file like this. Having this line here tells the JavaScript engine to interpret the code in strict mode, and it will raise errors for some of the mistakes that we're about to look at. This use strict directive is only recognized at the beginning of a script or function. So you have to commit to using it for the entire script if you want to use strict mode. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples of how strict mode can improve your code. One of the most common ways strict mode can help is by catching undeclared variables. In normal JavaScript, if you use a variable that hasn't been declared, it will automatically be created as a global variable. And this can lead to some pretty unexpected behavior and it can cause bugs in your code. When strict mode is enabled, attempting to use an undeclared variable will throw an error. So this line here in strict mode will throw reference error that X is not defined. Without strict mode, this line works and it will actually declare the variable X on the global scope, which isn't always what you want because usually you wanted to have created it. Another change that strict mode enforces is disallowing the use of the with statement. The with statement is considered to be bad practice and it can lead to unexpected behavior and confusion. By disallowing it, strict mode encourages developers to use more explicit and more clear code. Here is a property being defined programmatically in JavaScript. You can also use the get statement on a JavaScript class, they do pretty much the same thing. Now, even though we're defining this as writable false in this example, in non-strict mode, you can actually write to this property. Setting this to 10 will work perfectly fine in normal JavaScript. When strict mode is enabled, so if we put the use strict statement above this function here, then uh, attempting to write to a read-only property will throw an error. This will throw type error cannot assign to read-only property x of object. So strict mode here is enforcing the read-onlyness of our property essentially. So to sum up then, JavaScript strict mode is a way to opt in to a restricted variant of JavaScript. It makes it um, easier to write secure JavaScript by eliminating some of the silent errors that are possible in normal JavaScript. By enabling strict mode, you can catch potential bugs and errors earlier on in your development cycle. And that makes your code more reliable and it makes it easier to maintain. While yes, strict mode may take some time to get used to, it can ultimately save you time and frustration in the long run. If you're just starting out with JavaScript, then it's a good idea to start using strict mode right away because it will prevent you from forming a lot of bad habits. If you're an experienced developer, consider using strict mode in your existing projects to make them more robust. So that's it from this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my name's been James Charlesworth. I will see you in the next video. Yeah.